to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Just hit that subscribe button now because by the end of the video, I'm pretty sure you're gonna subscribe. So let's get that out of the way. Anyway, this is the my first Halloween series. Gonna skip through it. This is my first Halloween series, and the reason why I picked this one as the first instead of like a really really cool one because I'm such a procrastinate procrastinate, and I end up didn't order anything until like last night. So all the cool wigs, cool costume, cool stuff, cool lenses, it's not gonna be here until like next week, and I'm due to film. I have to produce something. So I just come up with this, sha sha sha, and I think it's really cool and really sexy. So if you want to know how I recreate this, then keep on watching. I already have my face done, so the video won't be too long. And right now I'm in the baking process. All the shadows I'm using is from the Morphe K palette. And here I am picking up this light brown color and using it as a transition color. And the way I'm placing it, it's the, in the outer corner and the inner corner. You know, some type of halo effect. But I want it to be like exaggerated and super blown out. Next, using a little more dense brush, I am picking up the same exact color. But this time, I am not going to blend it too far out. That way, we have like a really nice and subtle gradient. Then I'm picking up slightly darker brown and I'm going to placing this color exactly where I placed the last one but just to create more deepened look. Then I am picking up this dark brown and I am going to blending it halfway. That way it's going to like create that really nice halo effect. Lastly, I'm picking up this black color and I'm just gonna focusing blending it in the really inner part and a really outer part. That way, like the deepest, the most deepest is gonna be the inner and the outer corner only. Moving on to the brows, I'm just gonna like filling them like usual, but this time I'm gonna make them slightly darker than normal. Then using my ring finger, I'm picking up this light gold color from ColourPop and I'm just going to placing it in the center of the lid. And as for the bottom ones, my hands are too fat for that, so I am picking up using this brush that I got from Target, I think. I don't know, it was a long time ago. Then I am picking up Clean 217 from MAC and what I'm doing right now is just blending the two colors together, kind of like marrying them together so that way there's no harsh line. Then I'm just going to line my eyes in a liquid liner and originally I wasn't gonna planning to do a thick line but I make a mistake so I try to fix it by thickening the line. Next I'm spraying half of my cheek using hairspray this way when I'm applying the highlighter, the highlighter has something sticky to grab on um, because my face is so powdery from the baking, whenever I apply the highlighter without anything on it, it was not going to last. And I got this black rhinestone from Michaels, I believe. And using an eyelash glue as an adhesive, I am just placing them kind of like in the center in between the brows. And I got this lace from Joanne's Fabric that called Chantilly Lace and they're really really cheap. So what you want to do is just grab a small scissors and start cutting the pattern or the motif of the lace like individually and you want to make sure you cut it like really clean. And once you do that, you want to cut the pattern or the motif again into little pieces like so. Next, you want to pick them up with a tweezer. This way, it's like easier for you to hold. And you want to like place them in your forehead and 
flip them, play around with them to create your own pattern. And it's best if you have some type of pictures as a guide. And you can use my pictures if you want. They are on my Instagram at Beautyshka, so you can follow me, bitches. And using eyelash glue, you want to glue them to your forehead because the lace is so thin. You don't need a lot. Just like a really thin strip will do the trick. Next, what you want to do is just picking up more pattern and start cutting it in, again into little pieces. And play around with it until you find the exact position to place it and glue them again. Basically, the whole thing is very repetitive. You just need to... Play around with it, be creative, and have fun. I know it's going to take a while, but in the end, it's going to be totally worth it. Because it's going to be repetitive and self-explanatory, so I'm going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy the process of the artiste. <laughs> Once it gets to the side, I start cutting up bigger pieces and placing them because it's going to be on the side. Nobody really going to focus it so much, but it's up to you. I'm just speeding the process. Then I kind of want the mask to be like not continuous. So I want it to stop somewhere and kind of like connect it by this sequins or rhinestone. And there you go, I'm placing the rhinestone on the other side. And I'm very conflicted if I want to do like the whole mass or the mass kind of like stop, stop like before it hit my nose. And I end up deciding it's just going to be stopped because it's going to look a little different. For the bottom ones, I am using the actual lashes, like a strip lashes that I got from a beauty store. I think the name is Kiss. But what I did is I cut them into a like chunk and then I, I trimmed them. But instead of like trimming it straight, straight across, I'm just going to trimming it from the bottom, kind of like creating texture. Just how like, you know, if you go to the salon and they cut your hair and they want to create the texture on the end, they kind of like give you that little twist. That's exactly what I did. And I'm also having dilemma for the lips. I don't know if I should go for the red lips or like black lips. And I'm kind of settled in between. I'm picking up this dark red lipstick. It's almost look black, but it's like a really, really dark maroon. And I think it came out really looks really good. It's different. It's still really edgy and sexy at the same time. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and learning something new. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. And if you do recreate this look, I would love for you to tag me so I can see it and like the picture. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Beautyshka. And subscribe to my channel as well because I make awesome video every week. And in the month of October, I'm going to make two videos every week and it's all going to be Halloween. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!